No, no, you sing one first, insisted Luana. So, I played Nancy Spain into the night air as I sought to drink in the ambience and realisation that two beautiful girls were intimately sharing the moment. One of these females represented intense love, while the other represented an unknown factor. Was she friend, neutral or enemy? Perhaps she was many ways all, all three. That was very nice, said Ruana. Uh, your turn, said I, handing her the guitar. Despite my distrust, I was keen to hear her play. I was hoping she was good, but obviously not so good as to blow me out. My life was now entertaining, and I was far from confident at it with good reason. I was prepared to accept that the whole world knew more than me because I was in an unfamiliar world doing unfamiliar things. She fumbled around for a while, but eventually started playing. Her style was unmistakably girlish, but bold, as she sang In the Hour by Melanie. Her face carried a girlish enthusiasm, and her voice sought to ape Melanie as much as possible. It could almost be the young Melanie there, optimistic with youth and unbowed from cynicism. She was coming from a different angle to me musically, and I was entranced, despite the raw rough edges. Didn't I have enough of those? Ruano would be staying overnight with Shah. Eventually, I arranged to meet Shah the next day, and I walked home remembering the bittersweet experience of the night and concluding I had made, made it one more day at a time. All in all, it had been great sitting on the terrace with them, but the previous inference by Shah with her actions that I did not matter to her had stung me. I completed the Ganamin song the next day, and when I met Shah, I played it to her. There was a wooden bench surrounding a tree there, and as I played, we both sat astride it, facing each other. 